Yeah. This poem uh, takes on uh, relevance even more so today. Uh, it was written like maybe two decades ago. Uh, and it's a poem that I can't say I wrote in one way. It wrote me or it wrote through me. I just have one line in my head about brother died. There was no choice. And then one day, uh, sat down and this thing, this poem, this uh, pre de cour, how do you like that, uh, came forth. Brother died, there was no choice. Brother died in bed, a radio near his head, repeating rosary news of a word world, abbreviated fragments, casualties, stocks, weather reports, traffic jams, sports equations. Died without thought of power. Died with a name nobody knew but we who buried it. Brother died devoured, alarming what was left of his body, bones, shattered by plague and abundance, tongue and nerves retracted, shrunk by the touch of all of it. Too painful, unmythic death, no martyr, brother died for no known cause, slowly died before us, we don't know why. Brother came home that summer, stunned by insight so right, it stopped him, drew blood from his veins, reduced him to a gnome, bent over in silence on the bed like a pea pod. We let clean sheets fall gently on his body, not to break anything. It was that bad. Shades drawn, then double drawn, always night. The radio repeating news 24 hours a day, except Sunday when prophecy, redemption, damnation choirs made brother suffocate, scream into rubber foam filled pillows, his mouth tore at like a dog. Brother died. There was no choice. Brother returned from war and secrets he never told. Everyone asked him, how did it feel? How many did you kill? Did you see their faces? He never told them anything, but, but asked about wheat and rock and roll and stopped eating meat. Such a mystery upon his face, it froze there. Nights, the garden roared open and lovers ran off in panic. Mortar shells hit freeways. He wouldn't eat shellfish. They were scavengers, insides filled with curls and ribbons of poison. Brother bought a Bible, which led him to Market Street to preach apocalypse to nobody, passing around him like a lighthouse, everyone going elsewhere, while junkies and crazies watched brother preach, reaching for light beyond him. Brother at full moon buried the Bible wrapped in a flag of yesterday's newspaper. Brother awoke to shave his head, eyebrows, pubic hairs. Brother sat naked in the backyard for days until Hair sprouts like occult runes reappeared upon his gaunt body. Brother marched with others into a city and saw himself later on TV. In a cell, a self-renounced angel pulled off his pants. They had to stuff a sock in his mouth. Everyone took turns. Brother lost count. Basic numbers crashed at the bank. He couldn't remember his social security number. And when the phone was put before him like a blue plate special, he blanked out his home number. They didn't know what to say to him. Not even the bank president yelling in his ear could break the silence of vanishing numbers. 
racing down the drain, even his address, then his name, stammering letters and numbers, memory emptying out. He made sounds they turned away from, speed popping attendants clanked a gurney into the bank. Nobody blinked as they strapped brother down, four TV cameras memorized it. Brother the lamb repaired, returned to us in a wheelchair, a hunger to build a 10 by 10 shed in the backyard, paint murals on the walls, read through a stack of new age paperbacks, heal and return to life, all systems cleansed, complete, blank page, ready and able, sila, sila, brother died, we know not why, there was no choice. Brother died in bed, a radio near his head, repeating rosary news of a word world, 24 hours a day, abbreviated fragments, casualty stock market, weather report, traffic jams, body count, sports equations, child mutilation, decapitation, husband tears wife apart, wife rips out his tongue, nuns rape, dogs rat poison, suicide club uh, crashes into rented mountains. Rushmore, church mug state, Buddha incorporates, it's all real estate, electricity turns hair white, castrates 22 teenage boys, buries their pale bodies in backyard line pit, birth rate exploding, <coughs> expanding universe, black blood drunk neat with gin back in Rhodesia, white Blood used for sign paint. Arabs eat flies in endless marketplace of empty bowls. Chinese on the march, 20 million strong. Ultimate weapon carried along the Great Wall spine. Multinational empires sneak away to Shangri-La. The Pentagons lowered into underground caves, turned sideways into atomic Nautilus man by Captain Nemo. 24 hours a day repeating rosary news of the world near his head in bed. Brother died. Brother died. We knew he would. There was no choice. Brother in his shed tracked words to roots. No difference between barbarian or wizard. One clan scales the pyramid of another, plants a flag into the king's cracked skull. Brother went with tape recorder to street corners asking questions nobody answered. What difference does it make? Nobody stands a chance, they said. Nazi or Maccabee, none less noble than the other. Brother tiring, brother wore down. Brother came home that summer stunned by insight so right it stopped him. Drew blood from his veins, bent over gnome in the bed, pea pod. We let clean sheets gently fall on his body, not to break anything. The pain that bad, burned from within, shades double drawn, always night, radio on, 24 hours. Brother remains silent, eyes open until they shut. Sheets soaked with pallet of bodies collapse. Died, there was no choice. We no, not why. Nobody on heaven, on earth, to remember, brother. Everyone takes turns forgetting numbers and letters, forgetting faces and shapes. 24 hours a day, I cannot forget. Brother died. There was no choice. Mm. Mm. It's me at 12 or 
13 at the Royal Roost with Pops digging bebop and his chubby kid drifting on a reed. Speed graphic, one dollar shot, the leggy babe with a tray of smoke snaps two generations together because of the music. My dad's a mystery, more approachable than mom the blue heat of ice in our lives. Brown-eyed sorrow, big laugh, pies in the mug, knocks the trance into dance. Am serious, but want to make people laugh. I'm my father's son. Am serious, but a tumbler, my father's son. Am nearly three decades older than my father when he died. My father's only son in our struggle to be the same, yet different, yet the same. My mother's only son in our struggle to be close became more apart. My mother and father's progeny, three daughters, one son was raised in a female sphere, round orb of womb. Never learned what I know, yet knew it before I could read each letter of the alphabet. Was too young to be so old, now too old to be so young, yet bones and sinew bid at you. One never gets to the end of it as if the beginning was clear and certain. So wrapped enraptured by closures and openings. My father's son held his hand down the streets, even as a teenager. There's a little section in here called <clears throat> Amulet Me Be. They're little amulets. Uh, this is called Night. Keep Night company. Sing to her when she turns the pages. The better your song, the more lovely the light she offers in return. It is not a contest. It is a binding, a singing together. These are just this little shorties, you know, so uh, you, you can hold back and then I'll put the standing ovation. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it gets down to the basic way we, I, you, live, die, do life, no death, the rest is restless. Lots of mirror. Lots of terror, lots of rare, unknown complaints. <laughs> Cupped, Tarzan yodeled for a herd of elephants to decimate the white hunters drilling for oil in the heart of his jungle. They capped him king, forever captured on the screen. Tarzan will never be lived, will never be free to sing with power again. Who hears him sing immediately giggles or squirms about in discomfort. He is now a cliche, where before he was a warrior and singer without peer. This is history. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Just one more of my faux wisdom poems. Uh, all the dead, the living, the in between, always here and malleable as skin in times impress, knowing everything, knowing nothing, praying and praying we stay until we leave, and those who grieve 
mourn themselves. One more and then uh, I'm going to take a nap. <laughs> uh, in the dark, we park our sharks. In the shark, we feed our ark. In the ark, we're stark raving. In the end, we're not friends. In the end, we can't bend out or up. Instead, we mend it, watch our ways, pray for souls already lulled into piety stupor, which is pity, which is terror, to be stuck face to face by death's mystery, death's mastery. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you. 